Hello friends, I welcome you all to the course on Indian history. Indian history is divided into three parts that is ancient history, medieval history and modern history. We will begin our discussion with medieval history. In the first, we will discuss early western Chalukyas of Badami. The early western Chalukyas of Badami rose to power in Karnataka region in 6th century CE and they were called Chalukyas of Badami because their capital is modern day Badami which was earlier known as Vatapi which is a place in Bagalkot district. Chalukyas had a very humble beginning under Jaya Simha and Rana Raga. The very famous ruler of Chalukyas of Badami were Pulakeshi I and Pulakeshi II. In fact, Pulakeshi I was the real founder of early western Chalukyas. Pulakeshi I performed Shrauta sacrifice and Ashwamedha sacrifice to assert his sovereign status. So, please comment what is Shrauta sacrifice and Ashwamedha sacrifice. Pulakeshi I was referred to as Satyashraya, Vallabha, and Dharma Maharaja in his inscri inscriptions. He had two sons. One is Kirti Varman 1 and second son is Mangalesha 2. So Kirti Varman 1, first son of Pulakesi 1, he consolidated the newly founded kingdom by subjugating Kadambas, Alupas of southern Kanara and Maurya chiefs of Konkan. So don't worry about Khadambas, Alupas and Mauryas for the time being, I will discuss in my future videos. So try to remember Kirtivarman 1 and Mangalesha are sons of Pulakesi 1. Pulakesi 1 had two sons, Kirtivarman 1 and Mangalesha. Pulakesi 2 was son of Kirtivarman 1, since he was too young to rule, his uncle Mangalesha was ruling as regent to him. Once Pulakesi 2 grows, he kills Mangalesha and he became the ruler of Chalukyas of Badami. One important achievement of Mangalesha was during his time. Badami caves were excavated. Pulakeshi II was son of Kirtivarman I. Pulakeshi I was the greatest ruler of the dynasty and he was follower of Jainism. When Chalukyas of Badami were ruling the Karnataka region in the south, Tamil Nadu was ruled by Pallavas and in the north Harshavardhana was ruling. Pulakesi II defeated the Pallava king Mahendravarman I. After that, he crossed the river Ka Kaveri and made friendly alliance with Cholas, Cheras, and Pandyas. They were ruling the southern Tamil Nadu. After defeating Mahendravarman I, Pulakeshi II also defeated Harshavardhana, who tried to invade Dakshina Pata, that is southern India, in the year 618. A battle was fought between Pulakeshi II and Harshavardhana on the banks of river Narmada, in which Harshavardhana was defeated. Pulakeshi II sent an ambassador to the court of Persian king. Kosro II in the year 625. A very important event 
in the reign of Pulakeshi II was the visit of Hian Sang to his court. Hian Sang, a Chinese traveler, visited not only the court of Pulakeshi II, in the north, he visited the court of Harshavardhana, and in the south, he also visited the court of Narasimha Varman. Aihole inscription by the Jain poet Ravikirti was inscribed during the reign of Pulakeshi II. I will discuss more about Aihole inscription in the literature topic. In the year 642, Narasimha Varman, the Pallava king, was very powerful and he defeated Pulakeshi II in the battle of Manimangalam. Narasimha Varman I defeated Pulakeshi II to avenge the defeat of his father Mahendra Varman in the hands of Pulakeshi II. So it is very important to note Chalukyas of Badami in the Karnataka region and Pallavas in the Tamil Nadu region were contemporary rulers. After the death of Pulakeshi II in the battle of Manimangalam, the feudatories of the empire declared their independence. Even two sons of Pulakeshi who were ruling the parts of kingdom as viceroy declared their intention to set up independent dominions. In this scenario, the third son of Pulakeshi II, Vikramaditya I, with the help of his maternal grandfather, Duvikarma or Durvinit, set himself the task of restoring the unity of the kingdom. Vikramaditya I took the help of his younger brother, Jaisimha Varma, to restore the unity of the kingdom. Jaisimha Varma was very loyal to his brother Vikramaditya I and in return he got viceroyalty of Latha that is Gujarat. After consolidating the Chalukya kingdom, Vikramaditya I plundered the Pallava capital Kanchi. After Vikramaditya I, his son Vinayaditya ruled the kingdom. After Vinayaditya, his son Vijayaditya ruled the kingdom. Vijayaditya fought against the Pallava king Parameshwara Varman II. The next important ruler of the kingdom is Vikramaditya II. He was son of Vijayaditya. An important inscription, Lakshmeshwar inscription II was inscribed during the reign of Vikramaditya II. His most important achievements were the capture of Kanchipuram on three occasions, one as crown prince, two as an emperor and three under the leadership of his son Kirtivarman II. It is important that Vikramaditya II has two queens, Lokeshwari and Trilokeshwari. These two queens are very important and I will discuss about them in architecture file. The last ruler of Chalukyas of Badami was Kirtivarman II. Kirtivarman II was defeated by Danti Durga. He was the founder of Rashtrakuta dynasty. So in the end, and I would like to mention, Karnataka was ruled by Chalukyas of Badami followed by Rashtrakutas.
and Pallavas were contemporaries initially to Chalukyas of Badami and later on to the Rashtrakutas. So please subscribe to this channel for more discussion. Thank you for watching the video.